Well, recently, um, President Obama had his uh, portrait revealed. I was uh, waiting for uh, when the conservatives would strike because the immediate reaction to it was generally very, very positive. Not from the right wing, of course, but from everyone else. Now, I, I don't have much of an opinion on it. Let's show you the portrait. Um, and, and some people joked around that it was Obama between two ferns. Um, and, but it's artistic. I don't know or understand much about art. God bless. Okay, so I have actually no opinion on it whatsoever. Um, but Hannity uh, and Alex Jones do not agree. They have a very strong opinion. Now, buckle up and brace for impact for what it is. Sean Hannity's website had this headline. Portrait perversion, Obama portrait features secret sperm. Plus artists joked about killing Whitey. Um, <laughs> okay, now we go to the heart of the article, I, I'm not kidding. That was a real article on Sean Hannity's website. Okay, it says the widening scandal. What scandal and how has it widened? Anyway, the widening scandal surrounding former President Barack Obama's official portrait continued to swirl, if you will, on Tuesday with shocking allegations the artist included secret sperm cells within the painting. What are we gonna do, man? One side of this country has lost its effing mind. Donald J. Trump is now president of the United States. President Obama is the next president. Mr. Trump, for the moment, steps away from the United States. It's a great honor to be able to introduce for the first time ever anywhere the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald Trump. That has to be a joke. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm literally about to fucking kill myself and I'm not kidding. You better fucking fix this shit right now. I literally am gonna die, I need an ambulance, I can't believe I am a nasty woman. I'm not as nasty as a man who looks like he bathes in Cheeto dust. And I didn't know devils could be resurrected, but I feel Hitler in these streets, a mustache traded for a toupee, Nazis renamed. Yes, I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president, in part. I have Muslim friends who are texting me tonight saying, Should I leave the country? I have uh, families of immigrants that are terrified tonight. Um, our lives begin to end the day we become silent about the things that matter. If, if we don't fight, who's going to fight for us? People had to die for our freedom where we're at today. We can't just do rallies. We have to fight back. There will be casualties on both sides. There will be because people have to die to make a change in this world. But Trump, enough with your racism. Stop splitting families. Let, don't split my family. And you're fearful that you're going to lose friends and relatives to deport? Oh, yeah, a lot. Friends, family, even all races. Not just my Hispanic culture, but the rest of the races. Don't take away our rights. 
You know, you impeach Donald Trump. Under a new law taking effect next year, deliberately spreading HIV, doing it on purpose, knowing that you're doing it, is now in California a misdemeanor with a maximum punishment of six months in jail. Meanwhile, there are terrible new crimes in California, and the most terrible of all, misgendering someone. Also starting next year, healthcare workers who persistently use the wrong pronouns when working with seniors could be imprisoned for up to a year. You're awake, by the way. You're not having a terrible, terrible dream. Also, you're not dead and you haven't gone to hell. This is your life now. This is our election now. This is us. This is our country. It's real. The smallest Donald Trump uh, uh, scandal would have been the largest in Obama's eight years in office. They're still inventing non scandals to call scandals about Obama to this day. Aha! There's portrait of sperm in the hair. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mediate explains while the conspiracy theorist accused the painter of being, quote, obsessed with sperm. Jones appears to be quite the semen expert himself. Now, oh, we're going to Alex Jones. Okay, so hold on and come back for me. So I, I'm not positive because this is all breaking right now whether uh, Alex Jones started it or Sean Hannity started it. I think based on the timeline I saw that Hannity started it, but what difference does it make? What difference at this point does it make? Like in the old days, Alex Jones would start the lunacy and then it would go jump, jump to some of the conservative websites, Breitbart's, whatever, Daily Wire, Daily Caller, Daily Anything, right, 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 uh, and then and then it would jump to Fox News. Now Sean Hannity's kind of short circuited all that. He's like, what is the most insane thing that's going on with Donald Trump? Well, I'm in. <laughs> what is it with the right wingers and their obsession with semen? I mean, it's just like. Like a fire hydrant has just been run into by a car. It's just like I've never seen so much uh, semen in my life. Yeah, I'm gonna come in your mouth. Some of the artwork includes these massive posters of male genitalia. Massive genitalia. Right. Great skin, and she says that her beauty secret, along with Heather Locklear's beauty secret, yeah. is semen on the face. So we have a quick video uh, describing what she does. So she wanted to get even with her bullies by giving them cupcakes that allegedly had semen, rotten food, pills, and pubic hair in them. Now, uh, apparently the health department couldn't inspect the food because it had already been eaten. 66, 66% 66 said that they moaned to speed up their partner's climax. Yes, I knew it. The University of Toronto Sex Ed Center is going to host a massive orgy. But if it seems in any way fake, I'm super distracted and annoyed by it. Like, ah, uh, 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 like, oh, geez, Lord mercy. I think there's not enough scientists working on sex robots. So let's talk about the implications because that's what yes. I'm more fascinated about. I'm not going to have sex with a robot, so I'm not that concerned about that. But um, you don't think so until he looks like Jesus Luz. Special edition of Guess the Camel Toe. Wait a minute now. I should be able to get that. Do I only get one picture? Yep. Okay, it's Megan Fox. Uh... We were talking about sex robots, something that John is intrigued by. Uh, look, let's keep it real. You're the one who kept bringing it up during our lunch. During our lunch. During our lunch. During our lunch. Um, okay, fine. Uh, but that does not explain uh, the next blog post they had, which was about George Washington's portrait. So let me show you that they claim that he's got sperm all over his head. <laughs> all right, fine, they don't. 